so um, they are having me talk about love life. This is like a weird, it feels weird even to me. Let me look. You just want to make sure everyone's on the same page interpersonally. Like yeah. you want to make sure that your your goals um, in a career sense are the goals of the people around you. Yeah. And especially in the most intimate senses. And it's just like the best thing you could do moving forward in your romantic life is to be able to let go of the energy you're holding on to from the past. <laughs> so like even if you were to let go, you know, amicably move away from a person, their energy still might be kind of in your headspace. Yeah. And that might affect other attempts at relationships. It's like we can say goodbye to a person, but if they're subconsciously on our mind all the time, yeah. they may as well be in the room with us. You know what so I mean? So true. So just something to think about. Right. Um, if the people who are meant to be in your life will stay and will be staying with you because they understand your passion and what makes you happy and fulfilled. Right. Those who aren't meant to be in the situation won't stay because right. they're not meant to be. I just think like if we can consciously try to like let go, try to uh, have a sense of closure with it, yeah. then that'll I'll open you up so much more freely right. to better things. Right. And that's important. For me to hear him talk about love life and he really emphasized just like let go is a big thing for me because I've been dating someone for a year and a half and I found out that they had kind of taken advantage of what I did for a living and taken advantage of my finances. And that was a really hard thing for me to, to wrap my head around. I think that it meant a lot to me for him to say, let go. So to hear Tyler say that really validated a lot. So they're having me bring up um, work, actually. Yeah. And in a career sense, they're having me talk about a second wind, second wind, <laughs> which means like a second burst of a momentum. They're showing me like holding on and like, <laughs> just like, just hold on, just hold on. And then for some reason, like winter transitioning into spring, looks like things get Right. right back into it. It's gonna be fine by then. We just have to get through this, and that's important. That makes so much sense yeah. to me. Because I'm a singer. Right. I'm also an actress. I work on a show called The Goldbergs. It's set in the Heard 1980s, it. and it's yeah. on ABC, and it's I play the daughter on that show. But yeah. singing's just been like something I've loved right. to do since I was young, and yeah. it's like what I want so badly. Right. So I had vocal surgery this summer, and it kind of put a halt on everything for me, career-wise. It's been hard for me and I've kind of convinced myself like it might not ever get better. Right. But I have a, a tour planned in spring of 2018 that I'm like hoping yes. happens. Exactly, so. it's a second win. It's an yeah. opportunity to be able to continue your amazing career. I'm excited for you. Thank you. Well, the last couple of years I've had some issues with my vocal cords and it's been a really long, hard process. It's been something I've been struggling with emotionally because music is my whole world and not being able to sing has been really hard for me. So hearing that he emphasized second wind as far as spring of 2018 and having something happen with my career and specifically with music meant a lot to me. Hey guys, it's Tyler Henry. Click below to subscribe and don't forget to watch my readings with Gus and Gigi.